I've never had a Disney park bag before and now I have two, so come check them out with me. I have a Disney trip planned for the fall and I am stoked, can you tell? The last time I was in Disney was around 1998 and quite a few things have changed since then. One of the things I noticed right away were these mini backpacks that everyone seems to have while actually spending their days in the park. This is kind of their park bag. Not only did I see so many different sizes, variations, and designs of the bags, I also saw all the price tags that come with them. I began my search and found two that fit not only my budget but also my personal style and my personality. The first bag I want to share with you is going to be this Marie backpack that I did purchase from Amazon. Now this is my first time buying these mini backpacks. I'm not a collector. I'm not a specialist. I don't know everything there is to know. So if it's authentic or not coming from Amazon I can't tell you it does have the little lounge fly seal on it but I just bought it because I thought it was cute and it will match one of the shirts that I plan to wear in the park that also has Marie if you're interested in any of that sort of content shirts that I'll be wearing while in the parks so then make sure that you check out that video which I will have a link for you in the I and in the description but this bag is just about the cutest little mini backpack I have ever seen it kind of has that velvety soft material to it it's gonna collect dust but it's I also think it should be a little bit easy to clean being that it is that material but you have her cute little face here, her paws here that have this pink floral print to them. And then of course her little signature bow here. Her ears also feature that floral design. If you go to the back here, as most of these mini backpacks do, it has a little saying for you. This one has the because I'm a lady, that's why saying on it. Now, this one did come in a little bit larger than I expected, which is a good thing. Not only are you going to get your main compartment here, right here in the front, you do have this smaller little zipper compartment. As far as the inside goes, it is just a plain open compartment. You do have a small zipper compartment on the back. You have these light pink rose designs with little Marie's in there as well. Super cute. This is going to probably be my overall bag that I wear most days. Now, I couldn't just take the backpacks. I also had to get the wallet. So let me share that with you as well. This one features, again, Marie's face, her little bow here with that same kind of white material. Her ears have that same floral design that matches the backpack. On the back, you're going to have the lounge fly little crest here. And then once you open it, it is just a little snap closure. You have a pretty good size wallet here. You're going to have credit card slots. You have a little slot behind each of those. Here in this little clear compartment, I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can see that right there. You have her little bow design. And then up here at the top, you have your little cash slot here. Also features this little zipper compartment here for change or if you are doing the pressed pennies while at Disney you can just toss them in there as well. This is a pretty good size wallet. While it is not your average size for a wallet, this wallet overall is a nice size. It's going to give you enough storage without taking up too much of your space in your bag which is already small as it is. My second bag is one that is going to be a little bit elevated. It's a little bit more elegant looking. It's probably going to be one that I use when going to be our guest. It's just a little more fancy and it fits with the theme being that it is Beauty and the Beast. First off, I want to share with you the design on this bag. This lace design is actually on the bag. It's not just a print. In person, you can feel this lace detailing. It is all over the bag, on the sides, on the back. It's everywhere. But how adorable is this backpack? It is very sleek, very elegant looking. Not only with the lace detailing, also with these little buttons here in the front. This bag resembles a wedding dress style. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it has to offer. Again, this front pocket here is just kind of a slot. It's not really a thick or zippered pocket. So make sure you don't really put anything valuable in there because there's the possibility it may slip out. But this one features two side pockets. 
not necessarily big enough for a drink container if you have any small items that you don't think will fall out easily you could put these here this one does also have this detailing here that kind of spins of the beast and bell dancing which does take up a little bit of room when you open the inside of this bag you can kind of see where this detailing on the front does take up a little bit of space in the inside now the inside is just as gorgeous as the outside you kind of have this mauve background with an ivory detailing you have a little bit of swirls and little silhouettes of Belle and the Beast dancing this one again is just an open compartment with a zipper pocket on the back now with this bag they do not have a secret little saying for you on this one it's just a solid print with that lace detailing both of these bags do have adjustable straps as with the Marie backpack this one also has a wallet that goes with it and it also features that lace detailing this one is a lot smaller than the Marie wallet it's going to be a lot more compact but again the detailing of it is just top notch this one does feature these little flowers here this could be something that ends up getting snagged or ripped off so just be careful with that it appears that they are only hot glued but it could mess up that lace detailing if for some reason they come off or are removed for your little snap closure here you do have the rose with the petals falling a nice little detail this one is going to be reminiscent of a man's wallet being that here at the top you have your slot for cash and only three card slots you do have this little under pocket here if you choose and then on this side you have this little snap closure pocket which again would only fit a few coins or if you're doing the pressed pennies that could be a good space for you the back of the wallet does feature not only the lace design but this little embroidered silhouette to match the bag of the beast and bell now compared to the marie wallet you can see this one is quite a bit larger than this one that's just going to be personal preference on which one is more convenient for you which you are looking to take in your part bag if you have a little bit more space then one this size might work for you but if you are tight on space you don't have a lot of room left in your part bag then one this size might work for you I'll insert some clips here for you that way you can see how each bag looks while being worn on the back just to give you kind of an idea of the size of them if you decide to purchase either of these mini backpacks now that you've seen both of the bags that I will be taking check out this video to see the Etsy haul that I did featuring all of the shirts that I'll be taking for my trip to Disney along with some accessories make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell that way you will be able to join me in the video when i'm packing everything for my disney trip once that video goes live